everybody, it's Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I like to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. So my name is Cindy. If you're here for the first time, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. And I hope everybody who loves watching thrift store flips will give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me to grow my channel and be able to bring you more content in the future. Today's video is the culmination of a couple previous videos. About three weeks ago, I brought you a thrift store haul video where I showed a bunch of items that I purchased at Goodwill, um, a local thrift store, the resale shop that is run by the ministry I work for and then I asked viewers and subscribers to comment on the two items that you most would want to see me flip. So that call was put out and then about a week later we did a video where we drew the winners for that giveaway. So Today I am here to bring you the two projects that I made using two of those thrift store finds and I really am happy with how these turned out and I hope you enjoy them as well. Please let me know in the comments what you think, which one's your favorite, and if you want to see more thrift store flips in the future. So with all that being said, let's see what I made with my thrift store finds. The thrift store item I'm using for this first project was this pizza board with the handle. I'm also going to use some scrap wood, some hanging hardware, some stain, and some wood glue. So the first thing I did was just lightly sand this pizza board both on the front and the back just to give it a nice smooth surface. I think this is also called a peel board. I'm not exactly sure why, but basically it's to put pizzas in and out of the oven. So after giving it a nice sanding with my brand new sander, I love this thing. I'm going to also sand my two pieces of scrap wood that you see here. The one is about 10 and a half inches long by two and a half, and then I have a square that is about two and a half by two and a half. So the next thing I'm going to do, you know I like my Antique Wax by Waverly. Um, I did cut that square into two triangles, just going corner to corner. I decided to use some of this Minwax wood stain that I had on hand from another project. And although it's a perfectly fine product, you just use a rag to uh, wipe it on and then wipe off the excess. I really remembered why I prefer the Waverly Antique Wax because this stuff smells so strong. Um, yeah, and it takes a little bit longer, quite a bit longer actually to dry, but I did like this dark ebony color. So here I'm just, like I said, with the rag, just wiping it on the pieces, letting it dry a little bit, and then wiping off the excess. And I'm just using one of my husband's old uh, white t-shirts here to do this project. I do like how the stain, um, you can especially see on the pizza board, just brings out the grain of the wood very nicely and just really makes it look higher end. So after staining the front and back of the board and my wood pieces, this is what it looks like all dried. Here I am measuring the width of my little my long piece and I'm just measuring in one inch from either end and these are just going to be where I place the triangles so using a little bit of my Gorilla Wood Glue here you can see I'm going to place this triangle so that it's flush against the back of the board closest to me 
and then the angled piece is at the front. So I'm going to do this to both of my pieces and I was just trying to um, make sure that it was flush with the back of the rectangular piece. So I'll do this with both of my triangles and then let them dry completely. So once the little shelf was dry, you can see here on the back, I did have to sand that edge a little bit to make the back of the rectangle and the back of the two triangles to be flush against the board. I'm going to add these now to my pizza board as a little shelf, and then this will be able to hang on the wall. So from the top corner, the top right corner of the board, and the top left corner of the board, I'm just measuring down to the shelf to try to make sure I have it straight. Um, I also will have a level that I will use, and I'm just taking some measurements here to try to get it as straight as possible. And then just using a little bit more of my Gorilla Wood Glue, dotting it on there, I'm going to place my shelf on my pizza board where I want it and just let that sit for a good couple of hours at least before moving on with the project. So once my shelf is dry and attached securely, I'm going to take my ruler here and drawing a line between the back two corners there. I'm also going to measure in, I believe I did one inch again from that right edge and one inch from the left. This is where I'm going to glue my two little hanging brackets using some E6000. I'm also going to glue one bracket in the middle of, towards the bottom of the pizza board, just so that it will hold the board out from the wall the same distance at the bottom, if that makes any sense. If I just had the two brackets at the top, the bottom of the board would angle in towards the wall. So I'm not gonna try to nail these in, the board is too thin, so I'm just using some E6000, like I said, and gluing these to the back of my board. And here's a finished look at my little pizza board shelf. I did return that little piece of leather, even though it'll hang with the brackets. And just putting a couple little items here with some greenery on there. You can see how cute this would be hanging in the kitchen, hanging anywhere really with whatever you would want to put on it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this first thrift store flip project and then we will move on to the second project using this light fixture that I found in our church trash. I did remove all the electrical wires and the little holders for the light bulbs and I gave the entire thing a coat of this red spray paint that I also used during the 4th of July projects. Um, it did take a few coats just because of all the different areas. Um, I don't know if I showed these five little dishes in my thrift store haul, but I knew I wanted something to go into these little cups that used to hold the light bulbs. So I got five of these little white flower bowls and they fit almost perfectly in the little light 
bulb socket space. So just using some more of my E6000, going around the bottom of the bowl and then gently placing it where the light bulb was. It did slide around a little bit, so I wanted to make sure I had it pretty level before it dried. And then I went ahead and put all five of my bowls into the light fixture. And here's what it looked like with the five bowls. Now you could use this as a planter for maybe some little succulents. I've already done that enough and our bird feeder just broke. So I decided to add some bird seed to this light fixture and hang it out here where our other bird feeder was. And I'm hoping that our birds in our yard will enjoy this bird feeder. And I just love this second project. So let me know guys, I know this wasn't too complicated of a project, but let me know what you thought and which of these projects you enjoyed the best. Here I'm going to post a few of my other playlists from my channel. I have some other thrift store flips and some of my fall DIYs and my Monarch butterflies. Thanks so much you guys and I'll see you on the next one, bye.